Hey, Roth. Oh, Welcome hey. Back. Lauren, hi. How How's are you? Doing? Hey. Do you want to remember some guys? Yes. Hell yeah. Immediately. I stayed up very late last night, actually, picking oh. out uh, certain cards on a specific theme. That's really thoughtful. Uh, Thank are you, you ready for, for doing that? that? Yeah, yeah okay. I, wanted to, I wanted to give you a good experience. So we're doing all mullets today, oh. if that's cool. This is exciting. Yeah. Is good with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Randy Kramer. Uh, you know, I don't actually remember the picture. Uh, very well, but the, the haircut is familiar and the look is extremely familiar. The haircut did come with the mustache for a lot of these guys. That it mm, was that's like, true, yeah, it was like a set. Like a guy who goes to like Ace Hardware to meet women somehow, like to be like, you know how to use that saw? Like that kind of look. <laughs> I will okay. take a piece of gum because I didn't remember who Randy Kramer is. Oh, good start. Yeah, I picked I'm, well. Yep, good um, job. Sorry you didn't goggles. get all that sleep last night that you needed because you were too busy. Trying to make it bad for me. Yeah, Eric Plunk. Remember? Oh yeah, I remember Eric Plunk. Nice. We are technically a mullet. Uh, I guess it's a little long in the front. Party in the front, party in the yeah. back also. It's like if you had front bangs, but then also back bangs. <laughs> Plunk, he and another dude from those A's teams wound up as Yankees when I was a kid, before the Yankees got good. Him and Greg Catteray, for some reason, I think of as a match set. Do you remember Juan Berenger? Sure do. That's really good facial hair, yeah. actually. Juan Berenger, was oh, that's such a good show. So I think his nickname was Senior Smoke. Not, that sounds like an old WWE gimmick. It definitely does. He was on the Tigers, and then he was on that Twins World Series team. Oh, this guy, Mitch Williams. I mean, that's... do you remember? Yo, come on, we can talk about Mitch Williams. We can. Yeah. Do okay. you remember Mitch Williams? I think he sued Deadspin, didn't he? Did he? I think. Oh no. If memory serves, Mitch Williams was one of the posts that got deleted when Univision bought um, Gawker because he like sued Deadspin for reporting on him like going wild at like his kids' Little League game or something. Oh, Pretty that does sure. kind of sound like something that would have been him. <clears throat> Do you remember Charlie O'Brien? We got some curls yes, going on here. Yes, yeah, Permi Charles. Uh, no one called him that, I just made that up. <laughs> Charlie O'Brien was a Met and a brewer, and he always had, I mean, it might not have been a perm. He might have just been a curly-haired boy. Mm -hmm. Obviously there it is resplendent. Yeah, I don't know how I feel that I totally miss the perm. Like, I don't think I know anyone who has ever gotten one. There is something about uh, the aesthetics of like mid 80s substitute teachers making like an unexpected comeback that like, it wouldn't surprise me if Perm somehow came back. Um, <laughs> do you remember uh, Danny Jackson? Oh wow, <laughs> that picture. <laughs> like whoever took that thought they were emphasizing his butt but they're really emphasizing the back bangs <laughs> in a major way there. That might have been the year that Danny Jackson randomly won 21 games or something like that. Uh -huh. He had the year that the Reds won the World yeah, Series. Yeah, he won. Uh, it's the year after. So he went 23 and 8, and then he went 6 and 11. 23 and 8, yeah. His so, ERA like doubled. So 6 and 11 is more the Danny Jackson that I grew up with. He was with the Royals, mm -hmm. and then he was with the Reds. But just a, a handsome man, with thick hair. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Congrats, Danny. Do you remember, ooh, more good curls? Ron Hassey? Yes, Hasey. I do. Hassey was a Yankee. Uh, like, and also a... Um, Just for a couple of years, it looks like. Yes, but was also and with the White Sox. He may have been traded for a uh, friend of the program, Dan Pasqua. <laughs> they, <laughs> they both played for those teams roughly at the same time. Hassey was on the Yankees when they were trying to kind of piece together a catching platoon out of like... Just guys that look like that. Like guys mm -hmm. that look like they'd be like, hey buddy, like someplace. <laughs> those dudes. There's like a little bit of Jonah Hill yeah, kind of going on like an there. actual baseball player. He looks like he like won a contest to yeah. watch batting practice. <laughs> So disrespectful. <laughs> Do you remember uh, Steve Searcy? Searcy? Yeah. I mean, I remember him just because he I was... I don't remember him as a Tiger. Yeah, he was not... Uh, those were not good Tiger teams, and he was not a good pitcher. However, in, in 1986, Eastern League managers rated Steve as pitcher with best curveball and pickoff move in loop. That's nice. That's I mean, a, and that was a good loop, too. That was <laughs> quite the loop. I mean, baseball fans know what I'm talking about. Um, last one. Uh, Don Carman. Yeah, Don Carman. Pretty good pitcher, I think, in general, but very good against the Mets. After he retired, he apparently discovered in his garage and wherever he lived, like, a, just boxes of letters that he'd never opened, like fan letters from kids. And mm -hmm. so in, like, 2003, he was like, all right, you know what? Like, <laughs> I don't have that much else going on. Aww. And he just signed all the cards and sent them back which always struck me as a nice gesture. Yeah, he, has an also, he also has an actual interesting hobby that What's they mentioned on the back. It's sketching. Oh. As opposed to like sleeping or eating. Yeah, it's a like good one. taxidermy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for doing That's that it. for me. What a nice what a nice gesture. Yeah, of course. Um, no! Don't! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, this is, there's guys in there. <laughs>
embarrassing.